welcome to this video on volume as per viewer request. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the four strategies you need to know in order to answer any volume question at National 5 Maths. I'm going to split it into two videos. So this video is part one. So we're going to look first of all at the first strategy that you would use. So the very first strategy you would use is just basic substitution. So probably the easiest. Um, before I go into that, I'm just going to, I've got a list here of the formula that you need to know. You need to know those off by heart. So that's the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared h, uh, the volume of a cuboid, which is LBH, length times breadth times height. The formula that you're given is the volume of a sphere, the volume of a pyramid, and the volume of a cone. Uh, what you might notice is that the volume of a pyramid is very similar to the volume of a cuboid, except you just get a third of it. And the volume of a cone is very similar to the volume of a cylinder, except you just get a third of it. So I'm just going to look at these questions here. And so this is strategy one, as we talked about, so just substitution. So we're asked to find the volume of each of the following. So we've got a sphere. So we've got the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And the radius here, so the r would be 28, so it would be 4 over 3 pi times 28 cubed. Got my line there. And the answer to this one would be 91, this is in millimetres, it would be 91952 millimetres cubed. So we've just substituted the value into that one. This one here, we've got a cone, and again we're asked to get the volume. So V is a third pi r squared h. So in this one, we've got the height is 19, and the radius would be 8, because it's half of that. So we just substitute in those values. So V would be a third pi times, it would be 8 squared times 19. And for that one, we get 1273.4 centimetres cubed. So the third one here is we're looking at pyramid. And we've got the formula for the volume of a pyramid. So V is a third. And I might actually just use this bottom part there, LBH. So we've got the third. The length we could say is 9, the breadth is 8, and the height is 11, if you can't quite see that correctly. And we end up with 264 centimetres cubed. So this here, as I say, is one of the first basic strategies. We will use them in the other ones, but they'll have added steps. So I'm now going to move on to the second strategy. So now we're on to the second strategy, and this is subtracting the radius to find the height. So it's not that unsimilar. What we'll be doing here is not that unsimilar to the previous examples, but we have got this additional step in place. So we're asked to find the volume of the shapes below. And what we have here is we've got some composite shapes. So in this one here, we've got a cone and a hemisphere. And in this one, we've got a cylinder and a hemisphere. So the thing that we need to do is we need to subtract the radius to find the height. So in each of those, if in this one here, for instance, the radius, because the diameter is 20, the radius would be 10. So the radius of that hemisphere would be 10. And if we subtract the 10 from here, that will get us the height of the cone. So the height of the cone becomes 42. So that height is 42. We know obviously across here is 20. And what we can then do is work out, first of all, the volume of the cone. So the volume of the cone is a third pi r squared times height. So it's a third of pi. We know that the radius is 10, so it's times 10 squared. And we established that the height would be 42 because 52 take away 10 would be 42. 
And what we get for that part, bear with me one minute, would be 4398. So this is the, the volume of the cone part. I'm now going to get the volume of the, the hemisphere at the bottom. So I'm just looking at this example just now. So the volume of the hemisphere is really just the same as what we've done in the previous examples. The volume of the hemisphere would be about 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And we know that the radius is 10, so 4 over 3 pi times 10 cubed. That gives us 4,1. And what we need to do there is we need to half that because that would be the volume of the entire sphere. So we half that and we get 2094.4. So what we've worked out there, we've worked out the, the volume of the hemisphere in the bottom part, we've also worked out the volume of the cone. We now need to add them together. So the total volume of the first shape is... 6492.63. So this is the volume of this shape. So the main skill that we used there was just subtracting the radius from the total height to get this other height. I'm now going to do this example. Now this time we're being asked to find the volume of this shape there. So again, another composite shape. And the main skill that we need to use is we need to subtract the radius to find the height. So we've got a, a cylinder and a hemisphere here and we need to establish our radius. So the diameter of the cylinder is 16. So the radius would be eight, which means that this little height here is eight here. If I do 26 take away eight, I get 18. So the height of the cylinder is 18 centimetres. So now what we need to do is get the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the hemisphere. So the volume of the cylinder um, is going to be pi r squared h. And what we can do there, we know that our radius is going to be 8 and our height is 18. And then to get our hemisphere, so the volume of a sphere, we'll use the spheres first of all and then we can half it. So the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed, 4 over 3 pi, the radius is going to be 8, so it's 8 cubed, and for this part, 2144. So that's for the entire sphere. So I need to divide that by 2 to get the hemisphere. So the volume of the hemisphere is going to be 1072.33 centimetres cubed. So that part's our hemisphere, the volume of our hemisphere, and this part's the volume of our cylinder. To get the total volume, I just need to add those two together and I get 4,691.4. Now so far we've looked at the first two strategies when you're answering a volume question in National 5. So we looked at just substituting in values. This time we looked at subtracting the radius to find the height. So this is the second strategy. 
In the follow-on video from this, I'm going to look at strategies three and four. Please like, please subscribe, and please feel free to suggest any other maths videos you would like to see.